Well, hello YouTube and welcome to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I'm still fixing my camera here, but apparently I hit play. So, today we are playing with Seize the Day and we are featuring the Seize the Day bundle. The cardstock we're going to be using is Night and Navy Pool Party in Basic White and I used a whole bunch of dies in prepping um, for this and I used bits and pieces of cardstock that I had in my scrap bin. So that's how I like to use things. I don't want to cut up a whole sheet of cardstock if I don't have to. So we got a lot of stuff out. Let's get started. You can see the chaos on my desk prepping for, let's move this aside a bit more. Okay. Um, let's give you a look at the stamp set sees the day. It looks like I need to pull my camera out some more so you can see it. So this is sees the day. These are the dies that go with it and they're called sees dies and I have used every one but this little bubble one. Every single die in here I've used but the little bubbles. So I'm going to set that aside to the shelf. I brought in some of the classic matte dots. Um, these are from Paper Pumpkin. I thought these might represent little bubbles, so I'm going to set that, uh, let's say, over here. I don't need my poker. I brought in some Baker's Twine um, for the finishing of the card. Stick that in the bin. I've got some dies mount dies, stamps mounted, some sentiments, um, the big green seaweed one. And I brought in, I'll show you what colors of ink pads. I brought in Balmy Blue, Poppy Parade, Highland Tether, Pool Party, and Pear Pizzazz. Now, Pool Party I brought in because we are using uh, Pool Party on the inside of our card for the water looking stuff. This is Night of Navy, and I'm going to show you how I die cut this. Um, and let's see. So, I Pool Party would probably use Highland Tether. I stamped all these little fishies in a piece of retired purple cardstock um, that I had in my stuff. So I die cut, stamped, and die cut all these little fishy fishies. So I'm going to set those aside. I used some vellum. In the vellum, I stamped uh, three of these jellyfish. Because I like when you set it on there, they've got that, you know, jellyfish, you can kind of see through them. So, but we're going to do some coloring on the backs. I did the octopus in um, balmy blue. Yes. Um, so I did him. Now this is a very old green. I think it's either gable green or something like that that I had and we're going to do some sponging over that with either Pear Pizzazz, Pool Party, Balmy Blue, one of the others. I did some crabs to look like red rock crabs and I stamped those in the Poppy Parade right there. So we're going to set those two colors aside. Balmy Blue we might use here. And then I did some starfish. I did not stamp them. Some in Daffodil Delight or So Saffron, and I know this is Bumblebee. So, and then, mm -hmm, I don't know, let's see if you can see. See all those little blue dots? I thought those could be like little bubbles, and they all came from this die. So, I wanted to show you how I did this die. So, let me take it off its sheet here. So, what I did first of all, is this card, we're going to do a flat card and a jazzed up card. So I cut this at four and a quarter, scored it in half at five and a half, and then I lay this, and the reason why I pre-scored it is because I wanted to center this as best I could to run it through my die cutting machine. And that is how I got that, and I got all those bubbles. So we are going to start with our flat card. Card. I'm going to give this a good crease because I didn't get to do that yet. So let's put in our pool party, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. And we will need to trim, if you can see this, there's this little tiny edge right here. 
because it's butting up against the fold, we're going to trim that off very slightly um, with our little guillotine thing. And I'm not even measuring. I'm just taking a little tiny sliver off. And I do mean sliver. See? Just because I want it to sit nicely in there, like so. So that's how that's going to go. Now we are going to start. Now we're going to need to do some stamping in the background. And I want this, and I want to do it in pear pizzazz. And I will need... I will need a scratch piece of paper. So it looks like we're going to start with a brand new sheet here. I'm going to fold it in half. I don't need such a big piece. But we are going to stamp on this. So let's get it. This is a very old pad. Oh, really inky too. So let's Oh, I love that. Love it. Okay, so we are going to stamp some down here. Yeah, it even looks great on the gift party. And maybe we're going to bring it down like so. And kind of like so. We're just adding some more dimension. I'm going to set that aside. Let's see what it looks like in here. And these colors you may not... Uh, okay, we could have gotten some more in there, but that's okay because we have a lot of stuff to put in this card. A lot. So we're going to... Oh, that looks good on the outside. I do like that on the outside. Do So we're just kind of playing right now, setting our pieces where we want them. I do would like my octopus. I kind of thought that would be cool if he was like so. I want a crab on the outside. And I was going to put a starfish up here. Like so. Probably have to cut his arms off a bit. Oh, and our jellyfish. Yeah. Definitely. And we have little fishies, and little fishies going different directions. So let's get one of each. We can have one here, one up here, because we want room for our sentiment. And we have Seize the Day, which is really cool. But where to put it? Oh, and we got some of these. I'm not even sure if I want to sponge over this. I like that bright green against with the popping of those bright colors. Um, so seize the day. I really would like that. Hmm. Maybe if we brought this fishy in here. This fishy down here, kind of in the coral. And seize the day right there. And I really, really like this layout. So we're going to go with this. And we're not going to do any spongy, but probably on the octopus. And maybe around the crab with some pool party and fixing our thing. But what I did not get was something to stamp our... Let's see. I'm going to pick the double only punch for right now. I pulled this one. And we're going to stamp Seize the Day. Let's see if it will fit this way. Ooh, it does. All right, so I'm going to set this aside. And let's see, where's my scratch piece of white? And we may not need that great big sheet. So let's go into our bins of pieces. What I need. This will work for what we're doing. Set that aside in case I need it. And we might need this for the oval punch. And we are going to do this. You know what? Mm. Let's go ahead and do this in the poppy parade. Just to see what it looks like. We could also do it 
Mm, I just like that. Okay, we're going to do this twice. We're going to do it first in Poppy Parade. And then we are going to clean it off and do it in Highland Heather. I'm not going to try to close that right now. But let's see. But which one, once we punch them out, which one we like the best? And I can always stick it in my stamp set to use at a later date. So I did bring in Saison, but I don't think I want that. So let's punch these out with our double oval punch. And I'm kind of wondering if I want something. Yeah, we're going to take that all the way up as far as we can go and seize the day in red. I really like that pop of red. Okay, and let's not forget about our backing. And this is the insert piece from that came out of our big die. We're not going to let that go to waste. So I'm going to set my punch over there, bring in my supplies, and see which one do I want this to go? I don't like that at all. But I like this. Kind of. Oh, so hard sometimes to decide. Seize the day. Maybe I should have done, let's see, like so, and seize the day going this way. That looks a little bit more balanced, doesn't it? So let's see if we can restamp it. Oh, okay. And I really am liking the poppy parade. That just draws my eye up there. So let's just do it in the poppy parade color. And what from me cleaning it? Let's see. Will it work? Yes, it does work. Yeah. Seize the day. Ah! Okay, thank goodness it's on the back. I'm going to set that aside. And we are going to get some sponging going here. And let's see what I want. I want one for balmy blue. What color is this? And do, do, do I have just jade? I have some... That's pear pizzazz, which we could do. Um, trying to think, 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 think. Okay. Not sure what all those colors are. I know we've got a couple of just jades going on. So we are going to do this one and sponge it in some balmy blue. Oh, no, pool party to go along with our background here. So let's set those aside. And I just want to pounce around it. Lightly. Oh, I could sponge around it in the purple. In the Highland Heather and bring that in. Okay. I do like that. little bit more down here just to color it in okay so we're going with that and oh let's see let's move these aside oh we wanted to go around mr. crab so he blends in a little bit more So he doesn't look so stark and white. Pounce, pounce, pounce. Yeah, definitely needed that on him. Let's set these two aside. Now, Mr. Octopus, I think we will do him too in the pool party. Going along the tentacles. 
okay, there's all that white. Because he's in the water. He's not out of the water. He's not flopping around on the seashore. All right. And now I told you I kind of felt like I might bring in the pale pizzazz. Grabbing it and doing a little bit of sponging on our greenery. And I'm doing the same thing, just sponging up and down. Yeah, that does look better. Okay, we're gonna do it on this big piece of seaweed. You can leave some like I did on my fencing. Leave some of that bright color there, here and there. Okay, so that is all done. Now we do need to work on our vellum. If I can get it off the page here. <laughs> okay, our vellum. Now what color do we want to get in there? Let's do the balmy blue. And we're going to do it on the reverse side of the vellum. And it's just going to add some color in there. Okay. I'm going to set all of those ink pads way over there. Move those aside so they don't get into my stuff here. And I told you I thought we would use the Highland Heather and go around this. And we're not even going to use a sponge dauber to do that. We are just going to roll it in the ink pad like so. There we go. And it's closed up. So now we can go ahead and start gluing our pieces all together. And where is my wee little? Okay, like I said, I really like this on the outside. Not really crazy about, I like it like that. So that's where we're gonna stick that down in there. And we can snip this piece off some but we're going to add if the glue will work with me let's add a little bit of glue there to tuck it in like so and you can see that right there and then ooh, wouldn't that be cool kind of but this is our flat card this is not our jazzed up card so we are just going to add some glue little dotties back here and glue all of this down. And I'm gonna let it be like that until I get my other objects in place. So next we're gonna place our octopus right here and like I said I wanted that bit let's see do I want to do part of him in there and this part out like so yes just like that so instead of putting glue on the octopus I'm gonna open this up and put glue behind this piece and this piece so here we have it right there Keeping it up off our other piece. Putting it in there. And doing a little bit of weaving. Like so. So there is our octopus in place. And we will get him glued down completely after we get everything else going in. 
so uh, our next little piece of seaweed is going to go I think right in there like so okay so we're gonna put some glue on these pieces and I put my finger there so I knew where to add my glue on the coral There we have it, and we can give this a snip. Okay, it's starting to come together. Our crab. I might tuck one little leg in there, but I like him right there. And let's see if his leg, just trying not to get glue on everything. So I'm going to put some glue here some glue there for now and let that be our crab okay our jellyfish might move it oh I really like adding that balmy glue look at the difference I'll show you okay that's with the balmy glue behind it this is with nothing behind it you see how you got all that whiteness and this is with the balmy blue really cool looking but we're gonna stick him up just inside of there I want him down more so let's lift this up that might help if we have it come on work with me there that's exactly where I want him so just fold him up a little bit. Ah, okay. well, I got glue there now. And I'm going to show you something I like to use for vellum. It is this fine tip glue pen. This stuff works awesome on vellum because you can glue it, put it all over it, and you can't see it. It's just perfect for vellum. Okay, so we are going to glue him right in his spot, all the way down. Need to add a little bit more there. And our jellyfish is in place. Let's see if I can get this needle back in. Clothes are. Oh, it's looking so good. Okay, so when we have our little fishies next, one going each different way. We're going to put one right there. And this is where Seize the Day is going to go. And we're probably, you know what, I'm going to cut this off like so because I want it over there more. We may not really need two fish, but we could tuck one going way over there, but why? Hmm. I'm trying to decide where Mr. Fish should be, and I'm thinking he doesn't need to be there at all. So we are going to stick this purple fish. all the way down in its spot. Okay, so now that we got everything basically where I want it, we can do a little bit of stamping with these little bubbles, which are so cute. We're gonna put some right here and right there, and we are gonna do that in the pool party. And I know I have my uh, jellyfish here, so I'm looking for a little piece of scratch paper. We'll use a post-it note type deal to cover up my jellyfish because I don't want bubbles going on him. So, 
Oh, so cool. And look, it worked. No bubbles. But we're going to lift this up, and I want it... I don't know if I can lift it up, because I got my fish glued down there. There. We will lift it up. And we're going to put another row of bubbles up here. And maybe some right down here. And some over there. We're going to do some more right here. This is why I didn't glue my pool party on there. Okay, now we got plenty of bubbles going around. Yeah. Let's move our ink pad so we don't get in on that. And let's get this card going. So next we are going to glue this piece inside here. Like I said, this is our, oops, let me bring you down. You can see where I'm getting all my glue going. We really want this one glued down. Because when they lift it open, we don't want it coming apart. And on our octopus, because he needs to be glued in position. Okay. Now we're going to trust that we got everything where we wanted it on the front of our card. And we are going to bring that up and down. And I have it right butted up against my score line. That's why we needed to trim off. From here so it didn't show. Ooh, 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 ooh. Turn it over. Get it all in place. Oh, so cool. It almost doesn't even. I'm thinking that I need to do those little bubbles on this. Oh, wouldn't that be cute? Okay, so change of plans for this little piece of paper. We are going to glue this together. Then I'm going to bring in my mini die cut and emboss machine. Okay, and I'm getting my dies. Now, after I do this, I will have used every single die <laughs> in the set, if I can find the die sheets. Oh, come on. I thought I set all of those. Oh, nope, here it is. This is the last little one I did not use, but we are going to use it. We are gonna die cut on this together. So let's bring in my mini machine. Oops, just lost my eraser. Can this come in? Ooh, look how close that is. So let's pan out some. Where's my stuff I need? And my bin that keeps all my stuff in it. So we need the white plate and the two die cutting plates to do this. First I'm going to do it here and I'm looking for a little bit of washi tape to help me out just so it doesn't move on me. So right like so. It might take two passes through this because I got two pieces of paper. And I just lost the washi tape. The sleeves of my black piece are not helping. Let's check out. Oh, look at that. That's what I was looking for. I like that. Okay. And we're going to go for this side. Let's see. Might have to do the same end here. We'll do it at a different angle. All right, one pass does it. So 
what's so handy with this little machine if you just have small little dies that you need. Oh, changed my mind. I want to put this there. Um, somebody is trying to call me. They will have to wait. Unless that's the school. Oh, uh, let's see. Nope. I'm not going to answer it. I'm schooled that this new phone doesn't ring. So we're going to set those aside in their little bin. My little machine aside in the bin. And now, ooh, ooh, I like the bubbles. That makes it for me. And we need a little something down here. So what did I have? I set them aside here somewhere. I have some twine. Where's my... This will not make it flat. So we could bring in some of these little blue dots. No, I don't like those either. So those will go. Mm -hmm. These will make it bumpy. And I wanted this card to be really flat for Mailey. But we could add a little twine bow down here. And let's see what we have. that around through if I was smart I would have done that but I already glued it down let's see what I can do with this I was thinking what if I wound it around okay let's just cut some and see what happens with this You know what would, well, have to use product that you guys could buy, or you could use. But if you have the red and white uh, twine that Stampin' Up! had years ago, like I still have some. Mm. Let's see, get it from a frame if I can. Boy, that does not want to help me, does it? It's like, mm-mm going to be obstinate. I'm about ready to stick some tape on it like I used to do shoelaces when I was a child. Let's see if we can get it to here. I may not like this at all. I had some fishing line that would be cool but I don't have any in my room and my husband would be like no <laughs> what do you want my fishing line for and you'd have to go to the garage to get it but that is kind of cute isn't it wrap it around this one and yeah oh I wish I if I had a little hook wouldn't that be cute at the end okay so we are gonna put it through now that it's all f I'm f doing we're gonna wrap it this way and wrap it this way if I can get it all through always interesting to try new things let's see and then I wish that wasn't in front because I could bring it around but we are just going to this one is going to go in here and around like so so we need to back this out give some more here here and there okay let's get this down on here my scotch tape works so great so I want this piece and my scraggly piece taped down together. And I can cut that off. 
Okay, now I can adjust my string here how it needs to be. Just me playing, having a good time. Definitely like this. So, Scotch Tape is my friend. There. And yeah, right there. Okay. No, because I put so much scotch tape and stuff on it. Oh, that is kind of cute. I am going to use because I want it. I really should pop that up on a dimensional. But then I would have wanted mm, I really wanted this as flat as possible. But I could pop this fish up on a dimensional, dimensional, dimensional. And I do have one extra cup. I should have three cups. Though, looks like I may have lost one in the... Nope, there it is. I could pop him up too. This is supposed to be a flat card. We'll do that on the next card. We are going to get this down with some score tape. Rub down and then lift off that, then lift off that. Stay down. Okay, so this is card number one. Seize the day. Flat is we can make it. So cute. And Wink of Stella is always the finishing touch and we are going to stick some on Mr. Fishy and then we'll splatter some all over this but I want to just color in add some on there just a little bit here and there on that and our red rock crab is going to get some in the center. Our octopus is going to get it all over. And our jellyfish needs some. All over the vellum. And then I'm going to give it a little squeeze and split splat it everywhere. Maybe. Okay. Then I'll have to wait. So there is our seize the day. Oh, that does sparkle. Our flat version, but that's right. Let's, let's get the inside of our card together because you can't leave it plain. So open insert our piece which is going to go like so but we're going to decorate this up some and where is my seaweed here we go i wonder what the crab would look like in poppy parade on this pool party so we're going to add a piece of seaweed there maybe a little bit here and on the inside of this card set that aside we are going to put I let's see wishing you oceans of happiness and thanks from the depths of my heart wishing you oceans of happiness is my selection for this one and we are going to test on the back side to see what the pop. Oh, like it, like it, like it. So here we go. Wishing you open oceans of happiness. And then we need our envelope. The envelope, please. Here we go. Let's do some stamping on it. Back to our. We're going to save that for the crab. I really like my little red 
rock crab. We are going to put this on the front. We're going to put some down here in this corner of the front and on the flap. We are just going to put one there. And I need to get out the little crab from the stamp set because I already had him put away. But I like him a lot. Oh, we have a starfish we didn't stick on the front of the card. I, yay, 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 yikes. I need to remove something to do my crab. We're just going to stick him coming up like so, and down here all the way. Oh, isn't that cute? I love that poppy parade. Okay, let's move our inks out of the way. Things that we've stamped on, and let's put this on the inside, and we have to decide what color starfish. I wanted something down here. I think this one goes best. So we are going to put this down. I cut it out. We're going to use it. Like so. Alright. Glue this in the inside of our card base. And no one's going to know that we tested the poppy parade on the crew party. Because it's going to be on the other side. But this is our flat version of our card, which will only cost one stamp in its mailing, not just a regular stamp. Here is our coordinating envelope, and we're going to set that aside. And we are going to start on our second version of the card, which is going to be popped up in the such. So for this one, I simply used um, a four and a half by five, no, four and a quarter by five and a half, and I cut this image from it. Now, then I took it and I trimmed off a sliver, and I do mean slivers of each side because I wanted the pool party to frame it out just barely. I don't know if you can see that, but it is barely there. And then we're putting this one on a white base. And I have an envelope. I should have another piece of pool party, though, for the inside. Oh, I bet it's on the inside of my card already. Ta-da! So we are putting pool party on the inside to mimic our other card. But this one now, we can stamp on this. And we are going to do that in... Our lovely pear pizzazz and our seaweed and I'm gonna try my hardest not to get my halo effect that's been going on so we're gonna stamp it here mimic our front now I learned from our front I want to bring this one in a little bit more but I am gonna bring it up All right, so there we have that. Um, and while we have that, let's go ahead and do our envelope. While we have the pear pizzazz down. So, we're gonna put some on the right side, some down here, and some on the back. And we're going to do the inside piece as well. Get my pool party piece. We're just going to get all that stamping accomplished. So, there. And down here. There we have it. And I'm setting that aside. So that's the inside. I don't know what we might change it up. This is. Doo, 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 doo. 
see. There we have it. So let's start working with our placement of items that we want. I still like this just the way it curves. It goes perfectly there. We have two of these left. So I might bring one up like so. And this one, oops. I should just start gluing them in place. I do like that. This is going to have more um, depth in it because we're going to work it that way. So I'm first going to glue this here. And I'm sticking it just like we did on the other one in this little slot, almost like it was made for that. We're not going to sponge on these. I like that bright color. I wanted to do just a little different. I kind of like popping that up a little bit here. So I'm going to add a little dot of glue here. Like so. And this one, just going to glue this tip down. this one I'm gonna stick a wee bit right there so it can get glued down well maybe not okay this piece is gonna get some glue here and here and we're gonna tuck it in maybe that wasn't the right spot there like so this one is getting tucked in alongside here. So we're just going to go along this stem for now. Definitely. Mr. Octopus is going to take his spot. Oh, definitely like that. So we are going to glue this on the back side. I love it that it just flips up to hold my stuff in place. And let's see, turning it over, we're going to glue this here. So there. We're going to stick some dimensionals on the octopus so it really pops up. And let's see, our crab is going up on dimensionals here. Now we do have, we're going to use the brighter starfish for down there. And we, though, see, I still don't like this. So we are going to sponge in the balmy blue. Let's see what we have left on the sponge so we don't have to. Oh yeah, we got plenty on it. Now, how am I going to put this up? Hmm, that's the, the question, isn't it? Which, with all the other dimension, I really don't have to put this up on dimension. So, I think we won't. I think we are going to glue this down in place. So, let's get it centered. And we're going to put it right here. And I just lost Mr. Crab. Let's see if we got ink on there. No. Let me get a little bit of ink to mark the spot. That's where our octopus. No. Our jellyfish is going. So we're going to get some of that fine tip glue on here. And glue this down. Right there. And let's see, keeping the back straight, everything, okay, there's my crap. These sleeves are awful for stamping in. All right, so we're going to need to put the lid back on this so the glue doesn't spill out or dry up in the hole, but apparently I'm getting glue all over me, as you guys can see. I need a little towel that off. All 
right, now we need our pool party, right? Yes, where did the pool party? As I'm, I'm doing this process, things are going missing. I have the balmy glue got stamped, as you can see, onto my Highland Heather case. Because mm, that wasn't good. All right. Oh, I see the pool party. It's still open. We are going to, it looks like I need a little bit more glue there. Let's see if this is going to harm it any. Let's get our bubbles going for our, we can do it here, here, You really won't see it over there. But we'll put some down in here. Just because I want to. Okay. Now, do we need the pool party anymore? I'm not sure, but we're going to close it up anyways. So it doesn't get on. But it got on me. Okay. So we're setting this on top again. And this one, I don't think I'm going to put anything on the front. And then we have a starfish. And we have all these fishies, which we are going to do from here. I could put a starfish back. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm going to save that one for here. Let's put the darker starfish back here. This, no. It's either one or the other, huh? Not both. But I'd like, maybe we'll just stick a fishy back there. Fishy here, where you can see his eyeball. Let's see. Do we have a fishy go in the other direction? I should. Why do I have fishies all going this way? Because I use crazy. Okay, unless they're on the floor somewhere, which is a high, high possibility. So this fishy is going to come back in here. So let's lift this up. We know where those are going. It's just placement and playing. Oh, look at you can see his little eyeball. So we're going to put some glue right here to hold him in place for the moment. There you go. He's peeking through the seaweed. Yes. This one is going to get some glue right here. Because he, his little eyeball, is going to be showing too. Like so. Alright. And our third little fishy is going to be going... Do 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 way over here. I want him, oh, just like that. Okay. So I can put some glue on this little circle and right there. And I know that's where my fishy is going to be. Like so. You can see his little eyeball too. Oh, so cute, so cute, so cute. Okay, so now for the dimension, like I said. And we have that down. Now we need to really step this up and place some dimensionals. Do I have any? Nope. I'm all down to minis. I need to find my box. So octopus is getting dimensionals. Um, fishies getting dimensionals. And then all the way around the edges, it's going to need dimensionals. So let's put some down here. And we're probably going to use, let's just cut this here. And I am a scrappy, thrifty. Let's 
forever here. So I'm going to cut that in half here. One strip along there. Where's my other? This is my other piece of it. Oops. It just didn't get cut all the way. And we are going to add that piece to this side. And we're going to do the same. Let's first get these used up. We want the one there, there. This does take a bit to make sure that you don't got saggy issues. So, but we are going to cut this in half again. And put this at the top. And then we have this piece that's left. See what we can do with that. Probably need that in sections. There you go, that piece. This piece can go there. And we can do it again. And this one is going to go down at the bottom. These are bigger sections, and we're not wasting any dimensionals. None whatsoever, but we are using quite a few on a card, but it's worth it. And okay, now we can go back to dimensional use one there. Ah, if it'll come off my finger and we need one right there. There we have it. Now let's get all of this backing stuff off, which is the trick. So peel, peel, peel. So wonderful that stamping up to backings come off. So as I say that, this one doesn't want to come off because my fingers are stuck. Just working my way over them. It's the only thing about putting dimensionals on is you got to get the backs off. <laughs> it doesn't really like to can't do it any other way. That one's off. This one's off. Now, the big strip. And just these at the bottom. And then we're going to get, hopefully, get it right where we want it on our card. All right. So. that away. Now, I know that this is just ever so slightly. Oh my gosh, that came out. Couldn't have wished any better for that. Oh my goodness. All right. So starfish on a dimensional. And it fits perfectly in there. Our crab is going up on dimensionals. Let's see how many he's going to need. Just three. We'll do it. Then we're going to glue this all down onto our card. Oh, so cute, Mr. Crab. Look at that. Isn't that spectacular? I just love it. I do. I'm going to glue this tip, though needs to be glued down because it's bugging and sticking out like it's doing. And this could get a little glue right there. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, card base. White card base. Don't know how that tore, but that's okay. Pool party is being attached to the white card base, and it is the same size. So if you just line them up like so, that will work. And we need to do the inside piece, which we 
do not tell me. I was like, oh my gosh, if you tell me I put that on backwards, it would be something I would do. Okay, now we do have some more embellishments to put on those cards. We have these little faux glass, which would be really cute. And we have these, which I thought could be little bubbles, but I like those. Or they could be like little pearls. So let's go with the classic matte gems, the white ones. Maybe we can put some Winka Stella on them and they would look like so. So let's put a few of these in here. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out, ooh, wouldn't that be cute in there? Okay, we're going to put one there. We're going to stick a large one right, ooh, maybe not. Maybe it says I cannot go there because there's nothing to stick it to. But it can go there. Yeah, I like that. And we're going to stick one. Ooh, wouldn't that be cute on here? There, that's three. We can do five. Let's put another large one. Like the octopus is holding it. And a wee little one. Where else? Up here. That's, that still is not staying down, and it's really bugging me. I think we're going to do it right there on the tip of that, and I'm happy with that placement. I'm not going to put any sentiment on this card on the front of it, thinking it would be a great birthday card. Um, but let's look at the stamp set real quick. So I put that away. Let's see what. I thought I pulled all the same. Thanks from the depths of my heart. That's an awesome thank you card. Ugh, and it's, but it would be such a beautiful birthday card. Oh, so hard to decide what we're going to put on it. Wishing you open oceans of happiness. That could be a birthday card. So let's do thanks from the depths of my heart. And let's see. I wanted to, hmm, where's the jewel? Oh, pun. And let's see if this fits in there. Actually, it will. So we will stamp that in the Poppy Parade on a piece of white scratch paper. Not that piece. This will do. Ooh, I have this already done. Why don't we do this? I'm losing stuff as I'm talking. I have a Label Me Lovely punch already done, so no punching is required. Put this one on that, give the other one a clean so we can take it off. And we can do, ooh, very cool. That worked out perfectly. And I kind of like it like this. Oh, yes. Very, very cool. We could have put some done. We could do some bubbles. My Aunt Carol's calling, which is going to have to wait because we're almost done with this video. And then I can go in and call her. Like that. So setting all of that aside so we can finish this up. Where's the inside card that we did? We are just going to glue this down. Ooh, so cool. I like it. I like it. going to have to clean up my mess here. So we're opening up our card base. Oh, and I like the white with the white trim around it. This goes well with that. 
So there you have it, our two cards, but we are not done yet. We need to wink Estella this. The octopus definitely has to have wink Estella. I wonder if those will show up. Mr. Crab's body, the little fishies. The starfish needs wink Estella definitely. Not that fishy. This will get some Wink Estella on it. And then I'm going to give it a squeeze, get some more going, and do the tapping splattering effect all over my desk and everything. <laughs> so, where's my envelope that we just did? I know we did the envelope. There we have it. We didn't put the crab on it, but that's okay. So, there's the inside. Of this card let me move all of my stuff aside tip on the glue pen and this is our okay flat version you can see all the dimensional on this card this one will cost you extra postage a butterfly stamp in the US this one will just be a regular postage. So thanks for joining me in Allie's Wonderland Creations. I hope this has inspired you to mix your papers up and your colors. You don't have to stay with the same um, color groups. It works. Stamping Up's products are just the best. Um, thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye now.